is Ivan Locke. We have a situation here. You're the man in charge of the entire operation, but you've decided you ain't gonna be there. I'm not gonna turn back. Hey, Dad, are you coming back? Sure, something's happened. I need you to hold it together for me. It will be a long night. The majority of this movie, it takes place in a car and virtually in real time, but it never feels like a gimmick. And other movies, sometimes doing something in real time, it can feel like a gimmick. And I wonder how you go about avoiding those pitfalls. I think that if you um, can get the audience to engage with the story and the character, they forget the form of the, of the film. And I think with this film, it's usually about six or seven minutes in, you can feel the audience engage and they they forget that, you know, they, they now know the rules of the film. The rules of the film is you're not getting out of the car, this is it. And then once they've accepted that and get into the story, then when the lights go up at the end, people react to the emotion and to the story and to, and to, to the character. And they, and they even forget that they haven't seen the other characters. Now you guys filmed virtually the entire movie every night for just about a week, right? How did the approach differ every night? Like, what did you do as an actor differently on every night? Was it a matter of like refining your character or doing something completely different? How did the filming itself differ? Um, it was a bit of both, actually. You know, I mean, every night's a different night, and there's another opportunity to to, to try new things and investigate uh, new things within from from the starting place of the first night, which was a continuation of the the rehearsal process. So. Um, it's just an organic evolution of lateral choices uh, whilst going along the linear structure of, of point A to B, the, the beginning of the film to the end of the film. So uh, it's, a, it's a logical mm. sort of natural progression and then tweaking and, mm. and halfway through the, the filming you, you, you put out a, a, some, some messages and... Yeah, it was, we <coughs> shot the film after a table read for five days, we went through the script and did whatever direction needed to be done and we shot it for three nights and then I wrote a letter to all of the cast suggesting alternative motivations for them um, and see how that works and then ultimately it was possible to cut between the two different approaches and they would fit together because people are weird and they change and they have lots of motivations so I think it helped with the unevenness of the, of the approach. Now this isn't the way movies normally shot like that, so I wonder what was, for both of you, your greatest concern heading into it or during production? Um, <clears throat> that's interesting, like uh, there, was, it was, there was a distinct lack of concern, unless I was completely like <laughs> no, uh, so bottleneck shouldered and like the bull headed, I didn't notice anybody concerned actually but, um, about the time limitation, the amount of pages that had to get done, the, the uh, you know, the the moving vehicle, um, me not knowing the lines, <laughs> you know, all, all the things that you know, could, could eventually cause other people nausea mm. and mm. concern. There was a distinct lack of it, and Absolutely. we just sort of mucked in and got on with it, yeah. really, and, uh, which was a testament of the team, really, and, mm. uh, and I think uh, the, the, um, the security and the confidence of each individual asset within the team, um, from production, director, writer, right down the line. You know, mm. Everybody turned up to do, to do log, and was were on a similar page when it came to work, working. It, it was a bit like England during the Second World War, where everybody said, "Let's just all get on with it and just get it done, and it will be over soon." Um, but there was no pressure because there was no expectation. In other words, it wasn't a huge budget. No one was coming, turning up from the studio, asking questions. It was just us, and it was. It felt like it was just us doing this thing in at night on the road. And isn't it good fun? For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.